When you know early on you need chemotherapy for your breast cancer, there are distinct benefits to getting it before surgery. We will teach you all about it. Neoadjuvant chemotherapy is when you and your breast specialist already know at diagnosis and before surgery that ultimately you will need chemotherapy. Most of the time for early stage breast cancer, and that's what we're talking about here, you get chemotherapy if you need it after surgery. But a more sophisticated approach to breast cancer is identifying those that specifically really benefit from chemotherapy up front and offering it to them so a patient can make a good decision. Unfortunately, many patients are not identified nor aware that neoadjuvant chemotherapy is an option to them, and we're going to tell you all about it. In this lesson, I'm going to tell you exactly what neoadjuvant chemotherapy is for early stage breast cancer and later stage breast cancer. I'm going to tell you about the potential benefits of this cutting edge approach to cancer care. I'm going to give you an idea of who might qualify for neoadjuvant chemotherapy if you have an early stage breast cancer. I'm going to give you an idea why you need to know your tumor receptors and ask for an axillary ultrasound of the lymph nodes underneath your arm. And I'm also going to tell you why inflammatory breast cancer is always treated with neoadjuvant chemotherapy. So let's get started. So what is neoadjuvant chemotherapy for breast cancer? Well, if we already know with your breast surgeon that you are gonna need chemotherapy before you've had surgery for a whole bunch of reasons, you and your breast surgeon and sometimes the medical oncologist need to make a decision. Do we go ahead with surgery and then give chemotherapy later? Or is it better or are there benefits to giving chemotherapy first and then following you, making sure the tumor is shrinking, which it does generally with neoadjuvant chemotherapy. We don't think that the cancer spreads during that time period. In fact, it's dying. And then after three, four months, have a surgery and move on in your care. So I wanna go over two situations. Later stage breast cancer. So an inflammatory breast cancer, which we'll talk about in more detail shortly, is always treated with neoadjuvant chemotherapy. It's a large tumor, it's in the breast. We wanna get chemotherapy going quickly because it's an aggressive cancer. When you have a lot of cancer in your lymph nodes or a very large tumor, we really wanna press ahead with chemotherapy up front because not only is the cancer more of a threat to you, we wanna start treating that. And sometimes we need to shrink it to do a good or better surgery. But what I wanna focus on in this lesson is neoadjuvant chemotherapy for early stage breast cancer. When the tumor is less than three or four centimeters in size, you may have a node or two involved, or we do not know if you have any cancer, and still we might benefit from chemotherapy. So all of this is guided, first of all, by your breast surgeon, and also working as a team with a medical oncologist, kind of in concert identifying you if you will benefit from chemotherapy up front for an early stage breast cancer, working together, making a decision with you to have chemotherapy first or not. And if you do, we follow you along this three to four month period of time, watching your tumor shrink, making decisions together, it gives you time to step back and also make surgical decisions and other decisions on your care. I'm next gonna talk about the potential benefits of neoadjuvant chemotherapy for early stage breast cancer. What are the potential benefits of neoadjuvant chemotherapy in early stage breast cancer? Well, if you know you are going to need chemotherapy before surgery, and make sure to ask your breast surgeon this, that question specifically, then chemotherapy first may offer some distinct benefits to you. And I'm gonna walk you through this. Most importantly, Neoadjuvant chemotherapy, giving chemotherapy before surgery rather than afterwards for early stage breast cancer is not proven to make people live longer, at least not yet. But there's a trend in sophisticated breast centers and breast cancer teams of using it more and more. And I'm gonna tell you some of the potential benefits involved with that. So first, 
If you're going to get chemotherapy up front for a fairly risky cancer, then beginning life-saving chemotherapy first, rather than waiting two or three, four weeks to schedule your surgery, cover a month, you're going to get your chemotherapy six to eight weeks earlier rather than waiting till after surgery. And sometimes that's felt to be a benefit. You can improve your cosmetic outcome from your breast cancer surgery. So let me give you a couple examples. If you come in, your tumor's pretty large, and your breast surgeon really says you need a mastectomy. If you get chemotherapy up front, now these are for selected patients, that tumor can shrink down to be much smaller, if not completely gone. And then you can convert needing a mastectomy, then having a choice between a mastectomy and a lumpectomy. And sometimes lumpectomy cosmetic outcomes are not as optimal as we would like to think. And shrinking the tumor can at least allow us to remove less breast tissue and possibly improve your cosmetic outcome. Neoadjuvant chemotherapy gives you time. Time to make difficult decisions about what kind of surgery you want. You want a lumpectomy? You want a mastectomy? Do you want bilateral mastectomy? A lot of people agonize about that. It gives you time to make decisions about whether you qualify and are interested in undergoing counseling and possibly testing for the BRCA mutation, the breast cancer gene. Neoadjuvant chemotherapy can, in some select patients, reduce the chance that you will need radiation to your chest wall after you have a mastectomy. One of the biggest benefits, I think, is that when we give neoadjuvant chemotherapy, and in some people we can almost predict when all the cancer's gone, meaning we give chemotherapy, watch the tumor shrink, shrink, remove it, look at it on the microscope, there's no cancer left. It's called a pathologic complete response. And when that happens, and happens to you, we can look at you and say, you know what, this is fantastic news. The drugs work wonderfully and you're going to do well. Why is inflammatory breast cancer always treated with chemotherapy before surgery? Inflammatory breast cancer is a rapidly growing cancer, very aggressive cancer cells, spreading through the breast, usually into the skin, and usually into the lymph nodes, and a decent chance that it's gone elsewhere in your body. So this is, as we say, a cancer emergency. And it is been shown convincingly that the best way to treat this cancer that's kind of spreading and moving and growing is to get you on chemotherapy before surgery as soon as we can because these cancer cells start to die. The cancer cells shrink, they go away, and we can start to treat the cancer much more quickly if we're not waiting to schedule surgery and then recover and then undergo chemotherapy. It's important to note that everyone that has inflammatory breast cancer, undergoes chemotherapy, shrinks the tumor, and then has surgery, invariably a mastectomy, will always benefit to having some radiation therapy to the area where the surgery was, the chest wall, to lessen the chance of something growing back in that area. So, neoadjuvant chemotherapy, radiation after a mastectomy, invariably come with inflammatory breast cancer. So why do I need to know my tumor receptors and ask my breast surgeon to have an ultrasound of my axillary lymph nodes. Well, let's cover tumor receptors first. They are a big part about determining whether or not you will benefit or not from chemotherapy, amongst other things. So I'm gonna cover it real briefly. There are three, three receptors, estrogen, progesterone, and HER2 receptor. And they're kind of three patterns that are really pointing that you might need chemotherapy early on, after your biopsy. So you get these, this information about three to five days after you have your breast biopsy, if you have a breast cancer. And that's why you need to get a copy of your pathology biopsy report and specifically ask your breast surgeon, what are my receptors and do they point to chemotherapy? So let's get back to receptors. If you are estrogen receptor negative, it's about 20% of patients, you're probably gonna benefit from chemotherapy. If you are HER2 receptor positive, another 20%, you're probably gonna benefit from chemotherapy. And if you have triple negative breast cancer, you're definitely gonna benefit from chemotherapy. I wanna to pivot to an ultrasound underneath your arm. Your breast surgeons exam with their hands. 
is really not that accurate at finding smaller lymph nodes that may have cancer that has spread from the breast to the lymph nodes lodged there and grown. So, you should engage your breast surgeon. Can I have an ultrasound of my axillary nodes? Because it is much more accurate at identifying obviously involved lymph nodes with cancer. And the point being, if you have or know that you have cancer in your lymph nodes already before you have surgery, when you're with your surgeon, that sometimes is a clear indication that you're going to need chemotherapy. And it also opens up the possibility you might benefit from neoadjuvant chemotherapy. Next, I'm going to talk a little bit about who qualifies for neoadjuvant chemotherapy in early stage breast cancer. And if you want to learn a little bit more about these topics, Go to the Breast Cancer School for Patients and take our video lessons on receptors, pathology reports, axillary ultrasound, chemotherapy. So who might benefit from chemotherapy before surgery and has an early stage breast cancer? The decision to give chemotherapy or offer it and when to give it is one of the most difficult decisions in cancer care. It is best done with your breast surgeon, working with your medical oncologist, sometimes working with your radiation oncologist as a team, a multidisciplinary team, and you usually have these at an accredited breast center. But I'm gonna do my best to identify, help you identify if you will need chemotherapy in early stage breast cancer. And in these situations, that's when you can engage your breast surgeon or medical oncologist if you've seen them about whether or not you will benefit from chemotherapy before surgery. So, Number one, if you have a HER2 positive breast cancer, you're gonna need chemotherapy, and more and more we're giving chemotherapy before surgery. If you have a triple negative breast cancer, you're gonna need chemotherapy, and more and more we are treating it with chemotherapy up front. If you have an estrogen receptor negative breast cancer, invariably you're gonna benefit from chemotherapy if you can tolerate it, and some situations you benefit from chemotherapy up front. If you are known to have cancer in the lymph nodes underneath your arms, so we look at you and we all of a sudden see much more cancer there than we thought, indicating that it's an aggressive cancer, a lot of times we will then shift and give you chemotherapy, whereas we wouldn't have given it to you up front. We would know you would need chemotherapy and we'd give it to you before surgery and start it sooner. So, Identifying whether or not you need chemotherapy is the first step for you to identify whether you might benefit from neoadjuvant chemotherapy. I will say, in later stage breast cancer, let's say you have a large tumor, larger than five centimeters, let's say you have a lot of cancer in your lymph nodes, let's say you have an inflammatory breast cancer, all those are aggressive cancers, and invariably they are identified and offered neoadjuvant chemotherapy in most circumstances. So that's less of an issue. But the larger trend is you want to be treated in a sophisticated way, and that's why you should engage your doctors about neoadjuvant chemotherapy. You want to know as soon as possible from your breast surgeon, and as soon as they know before surgery, if you are going to need chemotherapy. Now, most later stage breast cancers, larger tumors, are going to benefit from neoadjuvant chemotherapy and they're generally identified as such. But often overlooked are the benefits of neoadjuvant chemotherapy in early stage breast cancer and unfortunately are not offered to all patients that qualify and you want to know. So learn from your breast surgeon early on what your tumor receptors are. Ask them to perform or order an ultrasound of your axillary nodes to see if there's cancer involved in your lymph nodes that they may not feel and ask them specifically before your breast cancer surgery am I going to need chemotherapy is neoadjuvant chemotherapy an option if you need chemotherapy and help me make a good decision about treating my breast cancer to learn more about neoadjuvant chemotherapy for breast cancer visit the breast cancer school for patients where we actually teach you everything you need to know. We're here to help you get the best possible breast cancer care in your community. Register on our website to get our list of questions to prepare you for your next doctor visit.